Hello everyone, this is Tyler. It is Friday here, it's Good Friday here in Estonia. And I want to briefly explain why I think dating apps suck nowadays. As we know, the dating apps have proliferated the markets and this is everywhere in the world. These, these apps are huge money makers for companies that have invested deep heavily and also for investors. And it's very important to understand the kind of uh, women that prefer to use these apps. Now, I'm not going to say all women are bad on these dating apps, but something to understand going back is that dating apps are a better men as a way to to network and to kind of build a database. It's it's simply to build a database. Now, unfortunately, the database that you're often going to find on dating apps is very. Um, it's it's not a very comprehensive and it doesn't include a very large spectrum of women and often the type of women um, fall into the um, less desired category now this is not always the case but it's very important to understand that many women don't choose to be on dating apps they don't want to and you're actually often not going to find the best quality women on these dating apps in fact you'll find many that are just look they have a need that they want to meet it's very one-sided it's it's very selfish now another kind that you'll find is simply ones that want attention and this is so common this is probably even more common and this is why so many of these potential matches don't even play out to dates and th this is a huge time consumer that unfortunately in the west has become so mainstream because going back is that 40 percent in in the west now like in the u.s and canada meet their future spouses on dating apps it, it's important to understand how how common this is now if we go to some of the um eastern countries like russia ukraine they are also very common but many of the local domestic guys do not find their future wives on these apps. And it's also important to note that these apps are, they're, they're very business driven. And these dating apps are made, they're made for, um, to actually cater more specifically to women, to females, because it's more difficult to keep higher numbers of them on these apps than men, the guys. Because obviously men usually have to do the seeking, women just take, typically accept the um, potential candidates and this is how it works but this really exploits and takes advantage of a lot of weaknesses in this area and it's it's unfortunate that we're in such this era that these are so common now also understand dating app is essentially it's very much dehumanizing person and it's making them a number and if we look at another way okay look at how these dating apps th these women that you'll find often they can find many other matches like there was a, a story in new york it was two years ago and this woman had basically conned like hundreds of guys to meet at a central location in new york she had had like probably a few hundred guys that showed up or more um, that she had been able to to match up with. This woman wasn't that attractive. Now, if you think about that, that tells you how many desperate guys are on this app and how many options these women have. And that's what you have to remember. If they're on this app, they're very much looking at guys that was simple as a number. I'm not saying that guys don't look at like that either because that obviously takes place. For a period of time, um, they did seem to be quite efficient for matching and finding potential candidates, but I think we've already reached, we surpassed that point. I think around maybe 2017, 2018 was kind of the, the tipping point, you might say, and I think we're back to how it was prior where it just over very ineffective, and, and that's kind of what I, I think of this whole thing. So my recommendation stick to real life if real life doesn't work then i would think about the the market the place that you're living in i mean possibly like relocating if this is important finding a spouse just waiting i guess until um an opportunity may come which often doesn't so it, it's a 
it's a difficult time we're living in. So give me your feedback. Thank you.